Hey, Shalom, <clears throat> Shalom, Shalom to the hopefully elect of Israel. I want to start off and give all honors and infinite praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rekak Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who have taught us this truth and who rule well. Peace and safety and salutations out there to you sincere and you hopefully elect. Scattered abroad and across the four winds of this earth. All right, I'm your fellow servant, Malakia. All right, coming in. All right, with another lesson today. Um, and this lesson, uh, you know, what inspired this lesson was, uh, you know, through the spirit, I see, you know, how we, you know, these Americans, all right, they, they, how they live their everyday lives. Because <clears throat> I'm out here and uh, in the parking lot and I'm looking at the people in there, they, they, you know, I see them with their smiles, I see them with their with their families, you know, because I guess it's uh, schools out, you know, it's the summertime, you know, people traveling, you know, people, they they have their, their lives uh, so much indulged into this place, all right, so as well as our people, all right, going to you Israelites, all right, you so-called blacks, Latinos, Native American Indians, okay, our people also are as well in the same spirit as these people, all right, they're looking for the stores to open up, all right, to go inside and go shop, all right? But they don't understand that there is going to be an end of all of this. There's going to be an end of America, Babylon the Great, all right? And as we keep prophesying these things, these things will come to pass. As the scripture says, it's how the Lord speaks. He speaks through his men, all right? And the things of what he said, all right, these things will come to pass. Uh, let me get that right quick before I go back into that. This is the book <clears throat> of Isaiah. 55 and verse 11 it says so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth it shall not return unto me void all right and how the lord uh speaks this word out of his mouth all right he speaks through the ways of the prophets okay the prophets are on the highways and hedges the prophets are on the uh, uh always on the scene watching all right you see them on youtube you see them on these other different platforms all right, so the Lord, his spirit, all right, is out, all right, on the earth through his men, all right, and he's speaking these things into existence, all right, through his men, all right, that's why we're seeing these prophecies happening, all right, and the, and the times are getting uh, shorter, okay, but the rest of the world, they're in that blind state to where they cannot see. It says, so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth, it shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. All right, it's going to prosper. America, Babylon the Great, is going uh, uh, to go down by the way of uh, nuclear missiles. All right, ICBM missiles. All right, we are going to see the destruction of America, Babylon the Great. All right, Lord willing, we be of that number that we get to see. All right, this place. All right, burn. Okay, being affrighted, but yet giving glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Let's go back to Revelation chapter 18. And we're going to start at verse 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. Okay, you don't want to receive the plagues of what's about to come all right, upon Babylon the Great. You don't want to see these things. So this is why the Lord, he's pleading, all right, to his people through his men to give the warning out, all right, and to tell them what? To come up out of this place, come out of this place spiritually. But our people, they will not hear. They will not hearken. It says, come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins. And that ye receive not of her plagues. So you see the, uh, 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 you know, the buildup of these different nations. All right, how they're gearing up uh, their weaponry. All right, how they're uh, coming up against the dollar. You know, it's, it's all getting time for a brewing of a World War uh, Three. It says, for her sins have reached up unto heaven, and the Most High have remembered her iniquities. You see all the things of what Babylon the Great has done. All the different atrocities, all the things you go back into the times of slavery. All right, you see the Lord has remembered all these things. You got the trail of tears, 
you know, you got the things going into uh, what the middle passage, you know, how, uh, 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 you know, how, how these Edomites was doing Gad and Reuben, all right, when they came over here. All right, so the Lord remember all these different things, how they broke different covenants, okay, how they lied, how they killed, how they murdered, how they raped, all these things of what America, these are just uh, some of the things. It's plenty of different things of what America has done. All right, but the Lord's remembering all the sins of this place. So it's showing you it's gonna be a great destruction. But our people here just wallowed up in this place, in this world here in, uh, in America, and they're not looking at the reality of what is to come. Reward her even as she rewarded you and double unto her double according to her works. All right, so it's getting ready to be a great destruction. It's getting ready to be something really great. All right, of the Lord. All right, his great wrath that he's getting ready to place upon this earth. It says, reward her even as she rewarded you and double unto her double according to her works. All right, it's getting ready to be nothing. All right, but agony, uh, 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 turmoil, etc. Many different things is getting ready to come upon this place here in America, Babylon the Great. And the cup which she had filled, filled to her double. So it was getting ready to be a, a, a crazy, crazy way of seeing this place go down. All right. We're getting ready to see this place fall so hard that the work, the earth has never seen before. And many people are about to realize it. All the other different nations, they're going to realize it. So it's getting ready to be a, a great destruction. So the Lord's warning his people. Let's jump to the book of Joel, chapter 2, verse 1. Blow ye, <clears throat> blow ye the trumpet in Zion, and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of the Lord cometh, for it is nigh at hand. All right? It is nigh at hand. This destruction that's getting ready to come to America, Babylon the Great, and it's very near. It is nigh at hand. So the Lord said what? For us to sound the alarm, for us to blow the trumpets. All right. And the men of the Lord. All right. Starting with our apostles and elders. All right. Here in uh, Great Millstone. All right. They've taught. All right. They have taught us. All right. The right uh, uh, message. They have given us the right sound for us to blow. All right, in the time of the warning of warning our people, it says, "Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble." Okay, let all the inhabitants of this land tremble, starting with you Israelites, you Edomites, all you other heathen nations. All right, since none of our people didn't want to adhere and hearken unto the the, the voice of the Lord, okay, they will suffer the same fate. All right, as these heathens and these uh, uh, Edomites here in America. A day of darkness, verse 2, a day of darkness and of gloominess, a day of clouds and of thick darkness, as the morning spread upon the mountains, a great people and a strong, there hath not been ever the light, neither shall there be any more after it, even to the years of many generations. All right. We're not going to see a day like this in the kingdom. This is going to be a, 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 a horrific day, a terrible day, a, 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 a day of wrath from Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. This is why the scriptures, they, uh, uh, they go into it. <clears throat> all right. And they say that the great day of the Lord. All right. It cometh. It cometh hastily. It cometh quickly. All right. This is why we can't get caught up in this place. You can't get caught up in the affairs of this world, the cares of life, you know, concerning things with your job or your family, etc. Hey, man, come up out of this place spiritually, man. Because, hey, sooner, sooner than later, the Lord is getting ready to rain these missiles down upon America, Babylon the Great. All right? It's getting ready to be a day of clouds and thick darkness, gloominess. It's, it's going to be so dark out here. These people are going to, like the scriptures say, all right, they shall walk like blind men. It's going to be so crazy out here, man. Verse 3, a fire devoured before them. And this is going into the missiles. 
that's getting ready to come and destroy America, Babylon the Great, and other certain parts of the world, but mainly the destruction is going to be here in America. A, fi a fire devoureth before them, and behind them a flame burneth. The land is as the Garden of Eden before them right now. We see it, it is as the land of the Garden of Eden. You know, you got, you know, the, uh, you know, it, it's, it's giving a, a comparison. You know, you look at the Garden of Eden, how it was, you look at it how it is now. All right, even though there's certain things here, the, it, many, all the things here is defiled, let me just say that. But the luxuries and how the people are moving, and it's, it's, it's as, it's, if, as, it is as if it is Eden. All right? got the people they got their money they got their lifestyles you know this is you know the modern day eden the people who they have the cares of this life they they enjoy life but you go around the other parts of the world it is not as eden all right but this place how you see america in, in its glory it will fall it says before them and behind them a desolate wilderness all right, it's going to be a, a desolate wilderness, this place, when the Lord gets through with this place. It says, and behind them a desolate wilderness, yea, and nothing shall escape them. All right, it's nothing going to be able to escape, okay, this place. Nothing is not going to be able to escape America, Babylon the Great. No person, no thing. Such as cars, no buildings, no airplane. You can't go, hey, none of that. Nothing's going to be able to escape these missiles when they be shut off from the other ends of the earth. All right, to here, to America. The scripture says how uh, 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 how the heat, all right, shall burn. Yeah, how they shall uh, burn with fervent heat. Oh, it's like, yeah, the elements, that's what it was. The elements shall burn with fervent heat. So everything in this place is going to burn and, and disintegrate. The people are going to disintegrate right along with this place. All the sins are going to disintegrate right along with this place. It's going to be the Lord's fierce, fierce wrath. All right. The Lord's indignation is going to be upon this place. All right. So, you know, don't get yourself caught up into this place as we see everybody else in this place, you know, enjoying life. Just know that they're going to have their time. All right, and their end is coming. All right, because the scripture just said uh, prior, for it is nigh at hand. So let me read that again. For the day of the Lord cometh, for it is nigh at hand. It is very near. All right. So, hey, Lord willing, all right, this lesson was edifying to you, Akim and Akwatim. I want to give all honors and infinite praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekhavadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Who have taught us this truth and who rule well. Peace and safety and salutations out there to you sincere and you hopefully elect. Scattered abroad across the four winds of this earth. I'm your fellow servant, Malakia. Shalom.